guys what's up welcome back to my channel so for today's video i have this makeup tutorial for you guys it's kind of like a semi chit chat get ready with me i intended to chat throughout the whole video but i forgot to talk so it's mainly like a tutorial and i talk a little bit in the beginning and then a little bit at the end so i'm sorry about that i will film more and be able to talk throughout the whole thing but um yeah, I thought you know I'm about to go out to lunch for my birthday so why not film a birthday get ready with me chat a little bit and just do my makeup I haven't done a beat in a while since my gender reveal and before that I just wasn't wearing makeup I was tired throughout my first trimester and then um, I'm an esthetician so I don't wear makeup I let my skin do the talking for me so it took a long time to beat my face but I love how it came out I feel snatched whenever my hair is in a ponytail I feel like you really see my face and everything like lifted and pulled back so i love how it came out i did try some new products and i go over the, um them with you guys so if i do a april favorites then i'll make sure i'll mention i mention them and then also you guys can ask me in the comments down below and i'll let you know how they worked out i tried a setting spray a new bronzer and something else was new but i just don't remember but i do have to go <laughs> um so um if you guys are interested in seeing this makeup look and chatting with me for a little bit then please keep watching all right guys so let's get started i have my robe on nice and comfy trying to keep it closed because it's a little smaller now that i'm pregnant and my boobs are huge so i'm just trying to keep it closed um and i already have my face primed and prepped my spf primer all that jazz so i'm just gonna start priming my eyes haven't done a talk through in a while and as usual i use the nyx first base primer and i also use it to carve and clean up my brows and then to blend out my eyes, I use this Real Techniques brush. It's called the Deluxe Crease Brush, and I am obsessed with it. And for today's eye look, I'm going to do pink, of course. I feel like ever since I found out um, I'm having a girl, all I want to do is wear pink. Um, my reveal, I wore pink because I just knew it was a girl. Um, so yeah, that's all I want to do is wear pink, so I'm going to keep it super simple today. I'm using the ColourPop Main Squeeze Palette. Now, I do have some shades missing because I was on vacation and my boyfriend knocked it over by accident. So all the eyeshadows fell out and they're all like in different orders, so I don't know if it's right. But just, you can reference the site or if you have the palette, you can just go off of, um, you know, the colors. <laughs> so I'm going to keep it super simple. I think I just want to do like an all matte look. So I'm going to go in with this pink shade red bottoms i think it is oh my gosh the shades are on the back of the palette guys i had no idea until right now okay so this is the right shade i'm just gonna take seed money on a packer brush and start packing that onto my eyes and then i will blend that out with a blending brush and these color pop shadows are so pigmented as you can see i hope it's coming up on camera it is natural lighting i'm filming with and my ring light because it's light out so hopefully you guys can see but this color pigmentation along with the nyx first base eyeshadow primer is just awesome the best eye base i've ever used and i've been using it for so long in all my videos obsessed with it now i'm just going to take a clean blending brush and just start blending out the harsh edges all around my crease the outer corner inner corner just blend 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 <laughs> so i don't really know what to talk about i haven't filmed like a chit chat get ready with me in a while but it is my birthday my boyfriend's gonna take me out we're gonna go to lunch by the water because it's really nice out and just hang out. We started Ozark. I'm just gonna take that same pink shade and just start packing it back onto my lid a little higher. Um, we did start Ozark and I am obsessed with it. It is so good. I didn't expect it to be that good. I wasn't even interested, but I was like, all right, I'll give it a try. And it is every single episode has a twist and turn and something you don't expect and that's really rare i feel like to find in the, these netflix shows because usually everything is really predictable or the big shock of the season comes up the last episode second to last episode or there's not a lot of excitement but it is it is really good it stars jason bateman and he's a really good actor he's very like nonchalant mellow monotone and it's just so funny i really like him as an actor so it's been really good and i like it we're on the fourth episode of season one season three drops this uh, month so i'm excited march is always the best month um but yeah so far so good so i definitely definitely recommend that show so for lashes i'm using lashes from this ardell pack i got like from ulta demi wispies or something and i'm using the style 415 they look really pretty so i was like i'll give it a try Okay, 10 million years later, I have my lashes on. Haven't worn lashes in a while, so it was a struggle getting them on. I'm going to be using this NYX Total Coverage Foundation in the shade Cappuccino. Love this foundation. Nice, medium to full coverage. Very buildable. Obsessed. I'm just going to use my Moda Cosmetics 
complexion brush. Love this for blending out foundation. As you guys can see, it really blends out the foundation really good, buffs it out nicely. And if you wear a band, make sure you push it back so you can hit that hairline so everything is blending and looks good. This foundation does dry down really fast, so you kind of have to work fast. So if it looks like I'm beating myself, I am. <laughs> For concealer, I'm going to be taking the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer in the shade Golden Honey. Love this. So I just apply it and let it sit. After letting the concealer sit, I'm just going to take my Elf Cosmetics Concealer Brush and start blending out. Guys, I really forgot this was supposed to be like a chit-chat, get ready with me. <laughs> I have not been chatting. It just has been so long since I filmed one and it feels so weird. But, um... I hope you guys are enjoying this little makeup tutorial, pretty much a makeup tutorial. I talked like once about a Netflix show, but um, I don't know, it just feels so weird. It feels weird to be back, but good to be filming. Um, So, you know, weird in a good way. I'm just blending, blending, blending. I just like to keep the concealer underneath my eyes. I let it sit for about a minute, minute and a half. And I love this concealer, nice coverage. And I do have really deep uh, dark circles that have been really bad. So I just go in with a little bit more concealer. I don't want to put too much on because I don't want to crease. And I use brushes, not sponges. So it's not like the brushes are soaking up the extra product. It's just going to leave it there. So, um, yeah, I apply some, then I blend it out. And then I see where I need to go back in and touch it up a little bit because I want it to look seamless. And then I go back with the foundation brush and I just blend, blend, blend to make sure there's no harsh lines and it looks good. And then before I go in and set with powder, I just take a little bit of setting spray. I'm trying out this Makeup Revolution um, Sports Fix Extra Hold setting spray. I saw good reviews on it. So I just missed a little bit. My doesn't smell good it smells like a permanent marker so maybe I didn't shake it good but anywho I did see good reviews so we'll see hopefully it holds um my urban decay setting spray that I love my all nighter was out of stock I hate the white one I don't like it I like the black one like the just slick one it's this one. Oh, there was some left stop I thought it was out but it's this one by Scandinavia, well, like a brand partner, whatever. But um, yeah, the all nighter spray. I hate the white one. That one works so good for me. So I'm just gonna set underneath my eyes with some loose powder. This is the Makeup Revolution Banana Loose Powder, and I just use it right under my eyes and in the center of my nose. Well, like the crease of my nose, a little on the center, and then I go back in the crease because I do get oily there. So I want to make sure I'm set because I don't like to powder throughout the night like I'm just too lazy for all that <laughs> so I just like to set really good good primer set good and a good setting spray sorry I keep talking this way when I should be talking to the camera for contour I'm going to use this essence sun club matte bronzing powder palette it looks like this four different shades looks really nice I'm gonna use this third shade right here I'm just gonna use a fluffy brush to contour well bronze technically when you contour it's like a lighter shade so it can mimic shadows I use a bronzer I don't care um I use a bronzer to contour but um I initially got this for my kit and I was like you know what I kind of like it I want to test it myself I've only tried their mascaras so I was like I'm gonna keep this for myself and I ordered some contour pans from Makeup Geek they were on sale I still haven't got them yet but um they were on sale so I ordered some for my kit and I was like I'll just use the pans for now and they are rebranding so that's why they were on sale and I was got to so sorry just in case I did like them I would have to and then when I run out you know then I'll switch up and get some new ones but I was like I want to keep this for myself and I really like it I look nice and brown and when I say I look nice, I mean like my skin looks nice. I really, I like it. For highlight, I'm using this loose highlight from Wet n Wild Cosmetics. And I'll look at the shade in a minute. But I love this. I'm not a fan of loose highlighters, but it was on sale at Walmart. So I was like, let me try it. And I like it. And e.l.f. has really stepped up their game when it comes to makeup. 
And then to just help blend everything together, I use my favorite blush of all time by Maybelline. It's in the shade Wine. I just apply a little bit of that. Just so it helps the um, contour, bronzer, and highlight blend together. And I do kind of go heavy with the blush. I don't care. I do put it on the tip of my nose. But I love blush. It's my favorite. I did go a little heavy today. I'll admit that, but it's all right. I'm going to go back in with the Red Bottoms Pink Shade. And I'm just going to start applying it to my lower lash line, blending that out. And I personally like to build up the color of my lash line pretty heavy, just so it pops in photos. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to take this gold shade right here called Juicy Fruit, I think. But you guys know what I mean. I'm going to take it and just apply it to the inner corner. Just a smidge, because I don't want it to overpower and look stark. I just want it a little bit and I take whatever's left on the brush and I just put some under my brows. I start by a, a dabbing on a little bit and then I go back and blend because sometimes I have a lot left out over on the brush and then it's all caked up underneath my brow and it does not look cute. For lips I kind of want to do a cool tone look so I'm going to take this Lene Cosmetics lipstick in the shade cool tone and just start applying that. It's like a nice mauve cool tone. I feel like it looks good not matchy matchy not a brown lip clear lip or anything i like it so once again i'm just gonna set my face one more time i'm gonna shake this up really good <laughs> still smells like a permanent marker but anywho i'm gonna go do my hair get dressed and then i will be right back all right guys so this is the almost completed look this is not my birthday outfit i didn't know I was going out to dinner. We didn't know that my boyfriend was getting off early. So I had to hop in the shower, beat my face real quick, film a get ready for YouTube. And now I'm about to go to the store and get a dress or something. I just knew it was going to be pink or neutral. So my makeup would go just fine with it. And I feel beat and snatched. And I love how I look. A little high pony. Keep it simple. Um, so yeah, I will include pictures of what my final outfit looks like when we were at the restaurant. Enjoyed this semi chit chat, get ready with me. Mainly a tutorial, I forgot to talk. <laughs> For once I forgot to talk. But I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope you guys liked this makeup. It was so much fun and I will get used to filming again and we'll be able to have more chit chat, get ready with me um, and chat through them actually so um anywho thank you guys for watching make sure you comment like subscribe all that jazz and i'll see you guys in my next one bye uh, tape on my pinky and try to fix these lashes ay 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 but i did hope i, I did i do <laughs> i do hope you guys yeah. and then to blend out the eye primer i use this real technique